Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. The like button, the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Today's prom is minimum value to get positive step by step sum. So, what does that mean? Uh, it means you should hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Did I always say that? Uh, I, I, I swear, sometimes I'm just a little bit, uh, I don't know. I have very bad memory these days. I'm old. Okay. So given nums, you start with a positive start value. You can calculate the step-by-step -step sums plus elements in nums. We turn the minimum positive value of start value such that the step-by-step -step sum is never less than one. Okay. So we start at four, then, okay, so five is less than one. Okay. Um, I mean, I think we can just probably just simulate and then get the minimum number um, of the path, and then we turn one plus that or something like that. I think that should be okay. So yeah, so let's go, yeah, min is equal to minimum positive value. Okay, I mean, so min is at least one. Um, So yeah, I mean, I guess it's, yeah, minimum should be positive. Okay, well, that's one of the examples, but that, that would be something that, honestly, I can very easily see myself uh, messing that up. But yeah, so for, oops, for x in nums, we just sum x and min is equal to min of min. Uh, or, mm, how do I want to say? So if current is negative one, for example, then we want the answer to be two, right? So that means that we want. Um, so, OK. Hmm. So if current is less than zero, then then what is it negative current plus one we said so for example if it's negative three then we want four so this is negative this plus one yeah, okay the parent is probably not necessary but um so we're looking at this plus um hmm. so now we're looking at all these possible values so this is actually the max of this because because we're forced to, right? Otherwise, um, and this actually works for positive numbers as well in the sense that there'll be a negative number, but I think this should be good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's give it a submit. The way that I would think about this problem is just like draw it out. Um, I, I think it might not be really, I don't know if this is obvious, but um, because sometimes it's one of those things where I have enough practice that it looks, um, quote unquote, obvious to me, but that's just years of experience, right? And so if you haven't seen similar things before, it might not be um, as easy. But for this one, you, I've, I think I just kind of visualize it as, as an XY graph of like, okay, so going from left to right, you see it going like up and down and then trying to get the minimum number because because now you're just shifting the entire graph upwards, right? Um, so that's basically my visualization that enables this solution. And of course, you can definitely do this in smaller code or shorter code. But but here I'm just trying to you know get it correctly. And uh, and this like if I have a typo, it is very easy to debug. Versus if I had a one liner, it might not be as easy to debug. Um, but yeah, um, I feel like this is probably too easy for an interview question, but maybe it could be like a warm up or something like that. I think this section um, I haven't done recently, but for whatever reason, I think I just forgot to be honest, but people ha or someone has asked in the comments. So yeah, so um, so as an interviewer, I probably wouldn't ask this. This is a little bit too easy and a little bit too straightforward. Maybe as a warm up and and with the expectation that like, hey, this is just to, you know, get your fingers loose. You have a couple of minutes, um, let's say less than 10 to kind of, you know, write this for a little and think about this. Um, but, but this wouldn't be like your, like this would be part of, an interview, like like it'll be a one part of the interview, wouldn't be the entire uh, thing. Um, it is. I, I still think it's probably still on the easy side, um, even with my math bias. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is. A, I think this is okay for me. So let me know what you think. Um, and this is clearly linear time, constant space. If you have questions about that, let me know. Um, I'll see y'all later. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health, and take care.